Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So here you can see the apparatus that is required to perform the moisture content determination test using oven dry method. So these are the containers and here you can see the moist soil sample and in the very beginning you need to mark these containers and you need to assign any number for the identification purpose. So container 1 has been assigned as 131 identity and for the second container you can see 133 number has been assigned as its identity. Now the next step is to determine the weight of these containers. Here you can see the weight of first container is 11.62 grams. We will note it down and now the weight of next container comes out to be 11.14 gram. Now we will take some soil sample, a moist soil sample and we will place this soil sample into the container. So basically two third portion of these containers should be filled with the moist soil sample. Now we will determine the weight of can plus moist soil sample and here you can see the weight for the second container comes out to be 44.07 gram and for the container that has the identity 131 weight of container plus wet soil comes out to be 44.44 grams. Now in the next step we will place these moist soil sample into the oven since it is an oven drive method. So we'll place these samples into the oven very carefully and we will set the temperature at 100 degrees Celsius and it can be 100 plus minus 10 for inorganic soils. If the soils are organic then the temperature will be adjusted at 80 degrees Celsius as well. Now after 24 hours we'll, uh, the soil samples has been dried and now we will determine the weight of can plus dry soil and here you can see in the weight of dry soil plus container comes out to be 41.76 from for first container and for second container it is 40.02 grams. Now we'll move on towards the calculation part. Here you can see the all input observation values. Now in the very first I will determine the mass of water that can be obtained using uh, these formulas. A weight of wet soil plus can weight is subtracted from dry weight of soil plus can and we will obtain the mass of water then similarly we will obtain the mass of dry soil that can be obtained from can weight plus dry soil minus can weight so here you can see the mass of dry soil comes out to be 30.14 gram and now as, as we know that moisture content is equals to weight of water divided by weight of dry soil into the 100. So using this formula we can determine the moisture content of the soil. So since uh, we have taken two containers uh, and there are basically two trials and in the end we can take the average of uh, these two trials and here you can see the average moisture content value comes out to be 13.44 percent for our test so i hope you like the video if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and share thank you